one of the issues was um, functionality was all there, mm -hmm. but we were looking at usability. So uh, one of the issues is you can see here on this part of the glove, you have uh, an embedded magnet, mm -hmm. okay? And you have another magnet on this side of it. That way you can just approach it and it's yeah, on. And it's yeah. really easy to put on and put off. Now, one other issue is that what we noticed during the early testing is that sometimes the device during movement yeah. would, would fall off to the side on. and break. Okay. Because why? We added uh, Velcro. Oh, the yeah. magnets provide uh, attachment up and down. The Velcro right. provides side to side. We didn't have the Velcro on there. So we were seeing instances where the device was falling off okay. and breaking during everyday use. So that was a really big usability factor that we uh, that we realized. And we actually did a lot of destructive testing with this production <laughs> version uh, okay. after that. Yeah. Um, and uh, I mean, we really put it through the ringer. Sorry, right. thro throwing it at walls, um, uh, putting it, you know, cooking it in boiling water, putting it in the freezer. Oh, wow, really? A full suite of destructive testing and uh, it really passed on all levels. And I mean, the end result is quite robust uh, and easy to use. Um, this is a knob that allows for a custom fit on any, yeah. any hand. So okay. what you do is slide slide your hand in, yeah. just like that. Um, my hand is the largest, one's a small, so okay. it's a bit tight, yep. but you would click the knob and adjust the fit. So when you rotate it, it starts to constrict on your hand and it's quite comfortable. Okay. When you unclick it, actually, it makes it all loose so you can you can take it off. Yeah. Our glove supplier does the destructive testing there and it's really robust. Uh, I mean, they okay. use these for extreme sports like snowboarding, Oh, okay. Maybe you notice knobs like this on snowboarding boots mm -hmm. sometimes, and yeah. that's why we use them because they're really durable yeah, and they yeah. can withstand anything really. So now to use a device, all you would have to do is that, and Put it on. it's ready to go. Yeah. Is the weight the same as the other glove? Uh, it's much lighter. It's lighter than the other glove. Uh, uh, yeah. Interesting. Absolutely. I mean, that that's the whole um, optimization process we went through from the first experimental version to this one. Yeah. So, so figuring out that yeah. you didn't need that much weight. Well, we we went back to the drawing boards because, you know, we realized that one of the issues was the weight of the first version. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one of the biggest goals was to reduce the weight and reduce the size, make it easier to wear. Right. And we really achieved that. We actually got better results. Uh, and I'll wow. tell you why. You know, there's a lot of there's some research on using inertial weights to reduce tremors, but uh -huh. the reality is really not very effective. Yeah. If you talk to neurologists yeah. to, uh, and you're in OT as well, yeah, you yeah, do yeah. see it. Sometimes it is, but yeah. it can make tremors worse. Yeah. And it can well, make because no it makes difference it fatigue. Either. You fatigue it out. You fatigue and, yeah. you know, it's also, um, so when a, when a hand is tremoring, it has a natural frequency. When you add a weight to it, mm -hmm. you can actually make the tremor worse by changing the natural frequency. Um, and that's the issue, right? So uh, with this, we keep it under the low, it's under a pound. Okay. It weighs uh, 400 grams. Uh, oh, wow. The first version weighed 620. So we, we dropped it down significantly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what extended to the forearm, uh, in, in the first version, we had a, uh, a ball joint that was used to restrict movement in the wrist. Oh. Did yeah. you think that at the time, wrist motion was a problem? Uh, I mean, uh, wrist tremor. So, like, oh, you were trying to decrease extension. wrist tremor. Okay. Yeah. So we made okay. it reactive to to wrist tremor, the flexion extension. Yeah. But now we've combined all of them into one, so this can deal with rotation and flexion. Oh. So we don't need that extra part. Right. Yeah. For stabilization. That's right. And, and there's really an important okay. feature here. You have, um, you have uh, white and red. Yeah. So. What we do see in in tremors is that you have typically. Uh, individuals who have a lower frequency type of tremor. Yeah. So, um, and you have individuals with a higher frequency type of tremor. You, it's, it's it's usually a bit faster. Yeah. Within the essential tremor group okay. and and other groups as well, there's always a distribution. Right. So what the way we've designed this is the the first mode where it's white. Yeah. If you line it up there, that's for slower tremors. Okay. Um, if you feel a device, um, if you feel you have faster tremors and you want to make an adjustment, all you have to do is turn the knob like that. Yeah and it'll it'll start targeting faster tremors and it has a really good targeting range uh -huh. so you only have to make the adjustment once in most cases uh -huh. so uh, we created in a way where it's really simple yeah it's one uh -huh. or the other yeah. just you know simplification yeah, was yeah, the, the right. idea here yeah. yeah okay neat sometimes difficult so do you know how much force it takes to pull that thing off um, to put it back on with the magnets we do, but with the Velcro it could be slightly different. Uh, it's a bit hard to calculate, but it, right. it, it's really okay. quite simple if you if you hold it like that. Okay, can I it, try it? it just yeah, absolutely. Um, Let's see, like 
Because I know, like, with magnetic clothing, for example, people yeah. say, well, why don't you just make it, like, the stronger the better? I'm like, well, how are you going to get them off? <laughs> That's right. But then if you don't have it enough, how are you going to get it on? <laughs> All right. Try. Yeah. And I actually kind of want to see, like, what happens. Like, when does it start? Ah. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very focused, actually. Yeah. Interesting. We can provide, um, you know, a yearly program where we can send replacement gloves every few months. Yeah. And in addition, another feature of this is that once you detach the stabilizer like that, you can throw this in the washing machine. Oh, wow. No problem. Okay, wait. So let's say I, I want to use it for my right hand. I put it in. Yeah. I pop this one. That's so, right. so like there's a significant gap in there right now, like at least three actually, fingers, yeah, right? This, actually, this is, this is my size. That's a large. Yours is a be. small. I don't know if this one's a small. Maybe. That looks pretty small. So they come yeah. in three sizes? Two sizes. Oh, actually. two sizes. Because of how this can, oh, how can much adjust. It so it, it could probably adjust to you. It, it, there might be a bit loose. At the time. Okay, let's uh, see. Mm -hmm. You might have to keep finding it because... Oh, I see. See, like it's closing in It's, here. it's closing yeah. in, yeah. 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 Be because you, you'd be as small, it's yeah. getting a bit bunched up. Yeah. There. It's yeah. okay though. I yeah. mean, it's not, like it's not a skin tear risk or anything like mm, that. No, it's no, really, no. Yeah. you know, and then like, let's say I over tighten it and I'm like, ah, it's too tight. So I pop it open? You pop, you pop it out. Yeah. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. And then I could just, oh, I see. That's yeah. easy. Yeah, really. Yeah. So we actually increased its height. Yeah. This isn't the final height. We made it a bit higher so it's easier to grip. And we put bigger ridges on the sides, just like you said, to make it yeah. easier to turn. Or, yeah. you know, a concavity through it, like something where it goes like this. So rather than yeah. like a lip that would break off, catch mm -hmm. and things like that, even if it's just like, you know, when you get mugs mm -hmm. that are just, you know, got have that waste in there. Yeah. It's self-lining, so even approach your hand, oh. it'll line up correctly by itself. Is there so it can, it can move in any direction, yeah, yeah. And, and that's why it's, uh, it's so effective in targeting tremors, because yeah. tremors can move in a combination of directions, yeah. right? We don't want to target just one. So you have the magnets that are controlling the disc here, yeah. and those magnets are custom patterns. Um, right. that are designed to target tremors specifically, tremor frequencies. Cool. Yeah. That is so neat. Okay.